everyone! I hope you're all having a very good day and today I want to talk about audiobooks. There are probably already a ton of videos about this subject but I haven't seen any of them so I go into this completely open-minded and I was hoping to make it sort of discussion thingy so it'd be really cool if you could comment your opinions about this subject um, in, a in a thingy below. Um, the reason I wanted to talk about this is that I'm in Holiday at the moment, we're in the middle of nowhere so we have to drive quite far to get to a place where we can do something and at home I have no trouble reading in the car but um, here the roads are really small and bumpy and I just get car sick really easily. Um, so I can't read in the car and I thought let's just listen to an audiobook um, just to use my time well and a lot of people reread Harry Potter over the summer, ho summer holidays so I thought, let's listen to Harry Potter. The thing is that I've been asking myself um, whether reading a book is the same as listening to an audiobook. Um, so when you've listened to an audiobook, can you say that you've read the actual book? Although I'm making this video right now and I know I am, I still haven't really figured out where I stand um, on this subject. The most important thing I think is that you know the content of a story, that you know what happens and that you liked it or that you didn't like it. And it doesn't really matter whether you know the content because you've read the story or because you've listened to the story, but at the same time it does make a slight difference. Um, I don't know why, but maybe I'll figure it out after I, I made this video. So I actually wanted to discuss a few things in this video. First of all, um, how much I listen to audiobooks and then the pros of audiobooks, the cons of audiobooks, um, yeah, I think that's about it. I seldomly listen to audiobooks. I listened to them a lot when I was a kid and I really loved it, but in the last five years I think the only audiobook that I've listened to is um, The Fault in Our Stars, because one time there was this limited ed edition that was narrated by John Green himself, so I thought I have to get this one and um, I listened to it while biking to school because I have to bike quite far and I absolutely love listening to it and I was just, I was at school in no time and I also cried at the end, although I thought it was less intense as I was distract distracted by my surroundings and everything, but I still, I really enjoyed it. And um, my brother listens a lot to audiobooks, so I discussed the subject with with him. My brother usually reads a, a book the same time he listens to the audiobook and he says that that's the best way because then there's nothing that can distract you and you can completely on, focus on the story and everything that's happening. And I probably tried that one time um, because I've never done it. It seems a bit odd but perhaps it's really nice, I don't know. Then he immediately mentioned a downside which is that a audiobook is narrated much more slower than you would read a book so especially I noticed too in exciting scenes just when this storyteller to hurry up continue reading this book but it's narrated as if it's sort of a movie and there it is pauses but you just want <laughs> this man or woman to hurry up when something really exciting is happening in a way that you would um, read faster. The biggest pro for me is that you can listen to an audiobook all the time, everywhere, always. Like I mentioned before, when you're traveling it's just the greatest thing in the world to spend your time well and just to do something fun at the same time because I mean, books are just fun whether you read them or when you listen to them. I've never had much trouble with reading. I mean there are some books that really demand much concentration and that take some time but mostly I just read a book um, with no trouble. But if you have trouble reading, I think audiobooks are just great. You can just read a book um, without having to actually read it and there are no trouble with words you don't understand as um, when someone is just reading a story aloud, a meaning of a word is usually made clear more than when you read it. I don't know, it's just something that, that I noticed. But still, when I'm at home and I could pick between reading a book or listening to an audiobook, I would definitely pick reading a book as I just feel I enjoy it much more um, just to read the actual words and to be able to reread a, sort of a scene if I didn't understand it or just to go back to a part because the language was beautiful or something. But I'm planning to listen to audiobooks more as it's really fun and it's just a completely different experience and I also like it to listen to an audiobook that I've already read because 
like I said, just a completely different experience and just the story. You can just experience the story again in a different way. I think that's it. I, that's the part that I like about it. So I'm really interested in what you guys all think. Is reading a book the same as listening to an audiobook? What are the pros? What are the cons? Do you read um, audiobooks yourself a lot? Or do you listen to audiobooks? You don't read audiobooks, God! That's it for today, I think. I hope you're having a fabulous day and I'll see you next time. Bye!